What's up guys, if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, comparison, Ion G2 versus the new Strike Master Lithium. So today, we got both the augers out, batteries are equally as cold, they've been sitting in our pockets, but they're still pretty chilled, they're full, and we're gonna do a couple of tests to help you guys decide which auger you should be buying. <laughs> So when I got this thing, this is the first time I've actually used an Ion for fishing purposes. I have never used the Strike Master until today, but we've been drilling holes with it all day. And it's a heck of an auger. Both are great augers. But we're gonna see if we can't find that one's better than the other. That's number one. How long does it take you to drill 10 holes? Now I know a lot of guys would be like, well, some guys will drill faster than others. We're both just gonna go at a nice even pace. We're not gonna shove the thing down. We're just gonna go nice, boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna have a little time on our phone and see how long it takes us to drill 10 holes. So that's test number one. Again, 40 volt Strike Master, fully charged battery. It's cold, but it's fully charged. Same with this one, full, but are cold, but fully charged. And we're gonna see how long it takes you to drill in 10 holes. Stretch. Do a little, do a little stretching. Yeah. Go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 38 seconds, almost 39 seconds. That's unreal. That's pretty good, dude. Yeah. So I think one of the things that uh, we want to stress is that like whatever one you end up deciding to get or whatever one like ends up winning or what we think wins or whatever, like after all the variables, both augers are going to be a really solid choice. So you're not going to go wrong. It's not like one's going to be a flop, but hopefully we're going to be able to you know tell with the eye if it's faster, slower, easier to cut. And then we're going to flip augers and both get our own input on which one's better as well. All right, now we're going to do the G2. How long does it take to drill 10 holes? You ready? You tell me when. Ready, go. One. Two. Three. Four. The same. No way! Oh, look, literally within the same second. Really? Yes, 38.4. It was like 38.9 on yours, I think. That's pretty crazy. That's unreal. Okay, I'll be honest. I, right away, I thought I was gonna have it. Like, I thought, like, I splashed him, drill it. I was like, the ion's gonna get it. Okay, well, another thing, too. I don't know if you were, like, continually going. I wasn't. I, I stopped after every hole. Okay. And, like, and, like, reset it. And there's a little bit of a delay, like a half second, maybe. Yep. But either way, dude, like, super comparable. Um, okay. So that tells you right there, cutting speed, just about identical. I mean, you can't get any closer. Um, I think the next thing is probably how easy it is to drill, right? Like, so I'll give you the ion, you get, I'll take the strike master, we'll drill a couple holes and then we'll compare them. All right. Okay, so I know what you mean by the grab, like. Yeah, the last inch or so as you break through is a little more rough. Like it doesn't pop through as easy. But the first start and rotation is very smooth. Like, and when you push the button, it's instant. With the ion, there's a little bit of a delay. I'm not sure if it's a safety feature or what, but there is, it's instant. Yeah, that, that last little second kind of grabs. And it might have something to do with the fact that the auger doesn't flex and the ion's plastic or cold palm or whatever it is, flexes a little bit. Um, it's smooth though. I mean, just like, just like the ion, it's, it's very smooth cutting. Like. I've used laser blades before, which I think is what's on here. So, I mean, it's smooth. Um, so yeah, I mean, I like it. I think, I think I like drilling with the iron more. And I like that it's lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, but dude, it's just yeah, it's just solid. Like I would use this for sure, 100. percent That's smooth. You like it? I like it. 
the difference between the ion and this i only drilled one hole but the difference between the strike master and this yeah yeah yeah, strike yeah yep. master that it doesn't catch like mine i don't know if it's like just the laser blade that just it catches every time it hits the ice kind of like jolts you a little bit but this was smooth well, drill a couple more i want to see what you're talking about So here's both of the augers sitting side by side. I don't. I think that one's drilled in a little bit, or this one's drilled a little bit further. That's the only reason the height difference. I think they're very comparable. Both have an external battery that clicks in. Both are 40 volt. This is a six amp hour, and this one is a five amp hour. So in theory, this battery should last longer, get more holes out of it, but both seem to be doing very, very well. And it's about 15 to 20 degrees, so it is cold. Um, in terms of ergonomics, this has got a little bit of a sleeker design. This one's a little bit bigger. Again, not a game changer by any means. We talked about that auger earlier. You see how these things flex? Um, that could be good, could be bad. Uh, I think for right now, it really is easy to kick ice off them because you can just break it. But at the same time, will that fail in the future on really cold days? I don't know. Everyone knows that the steel uh, augers has been tried and true, been, been a thing for years. So you really can't go wrong with that. But I think Eskimo, or Ion rather, wanted to come out with something that's a little bit lighter and hence they probably lost a lot of weight just using a plastic cold polymer versus versus a steel auger that was for 750 750 dollars this auger retails for 550 so a 200 dollars price difference in augers there and in reality cutting time and they both cut well the biggest difference is going to probably be that battery is it worth that 200 dollars i don't know you know, guys, I think both augers are phenomenal. They're a much better alternative for probably 95% of the anglers out there that want to go ice fishing and don't want to lug around either gas, mix gas themselves, and orders to even have the clunkiness of a big gas auger. So for most people, I think these augers are going to be phenomenal. There are some guys that will go through, you know, hundreds of holes a day. In reality, you'd have to spend a lot of money on batteries just to have make that even like a possibility. Um, but in all, both augers are great. To go with one. I would buy the G2. And the reason I'm gonna say that is one, I think it's a little bit faster, which means if we drill through some thicker ice, I think eventually my speed's gonna be a little bit quicker than that Strike Master. Again, guys, we're talking about a matter of seconds here. And even through an entire day of drilling 100, 200 holes, come on, maybe a minute difference. That really isn't enough to say like one's better. But if I'm gonna have one auger, I'd like it to be a little bit faster one. They both cut well, but the G2 is a little faster. In terms of ergonomics, I like the G2 as well. Both of them have great batteries, a great battery placement. They pop in out easily. They're all rechargeable. Comes with chargers the whole nine yards. But I really like the the, the look and the feel of a really compact design of that G2. Um, Austin, what's your? Uh, I have to put you on the spot. What's after drilling both of them? What's your What's your dealio? What are you thinking? I, I hate to say it because I don't own it, but I I'd say the iron's a lot smoother. Really? Yeah. Okay. So is it price difference though? As an angler, someone's buying it. Is that gonna be the difference? Would you upgrade to the IM for $200 more? I mean, it depends on how much they throw in the second battery or the third battery. You know That's I mean? very true. There's deals that they go out. There's promotions. There's the ice show always has some deals. So you gotta weigh that as, as well. If they're giving away a second battery with it, that changes everything. Because yeah. two batteries, I mean, you could go all day long. So. Oh yeah, I, I think we use the 40 volt all day and I think we punched over what do you think? 100, 100? Probably about at least 100, 120 maybe. 120 holes. Maybe even more. I went through two bars on the... Out of three? Uh, out of four. Out of four, yeah. So now you have about half charge after 100 holes of only four or five inches of ice, which is phenomenal. We didn't use the iron today in terms of cutting. Uh, we just kind of kept it in the slide because we were using his. So anyway, if you guys have any questions on anything else logistics, I by no means claim to be a pro or engineer. And if there's something I said in here that doesn't add up or something, I'm sure you're going to roast me on it anyway. But this is my authentic feedback. Again, of what auger is best, the G2 or the Strike Master, and it looks like the G2 wins. So either way, you're gonna be happy with it. But if you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Uh -huh.